Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a polynomial system. This is a problem by Stanley Rabinowitz. I'll share some links down below. So we have x plus xy plus xyz equals 12, y plus yz plus xyz equals 21, and z plus xz plus xyz equals 30. One of the things that I want you to notice about this problem is that all these equations have the same thing xyz, and other pieces are obviously different. So I'm going to start by using substitution. And by the way, I'll be presenting two methods. Hopefully you can compare and contrast. So first method, first method involves letting x, y, z equal u. From here, using the first equation, we get that x plus x, y plus u is equal to 12. And basically, you can just uh, isolate the x plus xy here because that's something we are going to be using later on. So let's go ahead and isolate that. x plus xy is going to be 12 minus u. All right, let's keep that for now and take a look at the third equation. The third equation, if you isolate the z and take care of these two terms and kind of factor out the, the common term, not the xz, but just the z, since it starts with z, I will take out another z here. And that's going to be x plus xy, and that is going to be 30. Now, this is where we use the x plus xy. You can basically now replace x plus xy with 12 minus u, and that's going to give you u. z plus z times 12 minus u equals 30. And then from here, you can solve for z. And you can write z in terms of u. So if you take out a z here, that is going to be 13 minus u equals 30. And you can basically, from here, you can write z equals 30 over 13 minus u. So I was able to express z in terms of u, which is x, y, z, by the way, but that doesn't matter. Our goal is going to be writing all the variables x, y, z in terms of u, and then we're going to put it together. But I'll be using two approaches while doing that. Okay. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the second equation that has y and yz in it. So I'm going to write it, let me change colors here. So y plus yz plus xyz is equal to 21, as you know. And here I'm going to kind of follow a similar approach, take out the y and write this as z plus xz. And that is going to equal 21. Now. Uh, z plus xz from the third equation, you can basically isolate z plus xz and write it as, since this is u, you can write it as 30 minus u, and you can just use that right here. So z plus xz can be replaced with 30 minus u. So that gives you y plus y times 30 minus u equals 21. And from here we get uh, y times 31 minus u equals 21 because y times 1 equals y. And from here we get y equals 21 over 31 minus u. So that gives you the value of y in terms of u. We got the value of z in terms of u. Now is the time to take care of x. So let's go ahead and do that. And how do we do that? Well, if you look at the first equation, you have x plus xy plus xyz is equal to 12. And then if you factor out an x like before, y plus yz equals 12. And as you know, y plus yz, now if you look at the second equation from here, this is u, y plus yz can be written as 21 minus u. y plus yz is 21 minus u. And you can just write it as x times the quantity, 1 plus 21 minus u equals 12. I guess this time I showed my work. And this becomes 22 minus u, and if you isolate x, it becomes 12 divided by 22 minus u. Great. So we were able to write x, y, and z, all of them in terms of x, I mean in terms of u. So now we can go ahead and put it together. Now, I'm going to use the first equation for this, x plus x, y plus x, y, z equals 12. By the way, this is where the methods differ. When we talk about the second method, I'm not going to do everything that I've done already. I'll just start here. So here uh, you can replace x with 12 over 22 minus u. And then you can replace the y with 
21 over 31 minus u, right? Yep. And then plus everything put together. Uh, but xyz is just u, so <laughs> you can just write u there. You don't really need to replace xyz in terms of u because u is already xyz. Make sense? Okay, great. So now we made all these uh, substitutions, and now uh, we're going to go ahead and make a common denominator, so on and so forth. Fast forward here, I'm not going to you know, bore you with the details, but if you do all the work, you're going to end up with a cubic equation. So that's also what is different about the two methods. In the second uh, method, we don't get a cubic. Okay, you'll see in a little bit uh, what we get, but if you simplify this, and I've done the work for you basically, uh, you're going to get the following cubic equation. And this cubic equation is obviously hard to solve. Uh, you got to look at factors. Again, I've done the work for you, or maybe Wolfram Alpha did the work for you. Who knows, right? So the factors of this equation are going to be u minus 10, u minus 27, and u minus 28. So basically from here, we get all the solutions. And this gives us the following uh, solutions as x, y, z, because they are going to be uh, an order triple and... By using each of these u values, like u equals 10, u equals 27, and u equals 28. Obviously, since we have x, y, and z all in terms of u, if you know that, for example, u is equal to 10, you can just replace u with 10, and you're going to get x equals 1 from here, so on and so forth. The rest is fairly easy. So from here, we can basically write the solutions as order triples. Let's go ahead and do that and talk about the second method. So x, y, z is going to be either 1, 1, 0 or it's going to be negative 12 over 5, comma, 21 over 4, comma, negative 15 over 7, or it's going to be negative 2, 7, comma, negative 2. So we got three solutions for the order triple x, y, and z. Now let's talk about the second method. The second method is kind of picking up where we left off when we started, you know, uh, going over this, uh, the replacements here. We use the first equation, but we could also do something differently. So Let's go ahead and take a look at that now. The second method is basically uh, using the fact that x, y, z is equal to u. So the product of all these things is equal to u. So I can just replace x with 12 over 22 minus u, y with 21 over 31 minus u, and z with 30 over 13 minus u, and that is equal to u. Obviously, when you multiply through, uh, you're going to be getting a quartic equation, not a quadratic. Why? Because this is going to make a cubic when you multiply by u, by cross multiplication, you're going to get a quartic equation, which looks like the following. It is going to be u to the fourth power minus 66 u to the third plus 1371 u squared minus 8866 u. The numbers are fairly large. That's why we don't really need, need to get into the details here. It's just busy work. So, one of the things that, I know it's kind of hard to check, but you should always, always check that if u equals 1 is a, a possible solution. Uh, if you just look at the sum of the coefficients, you're going to notice that it's 0. Uh, and from here, we get that u is equal to 1. Because remember, if the sum of the coefficients is 0 in a polynomial, then uh, x equals 1 or u equals 1 is going to be a solution. And if u is equal to 1, uh, we're going to be getting uh, the solution x, comma y, comma z, which is 4 sevenths, 7 tenths, and 5 halves. Now, isn't that surprising that we got something that we didn't get earlier, right? So what is the problem here? Well, here's the thing. We know that x, y, z is equal to u, so x, y, z must equal 1. But when you go ahead and, you know, just replace x, y, z with 1, for example, in the uh, first equation, like if you replace x plus x, y plus x, y, z, uh, using the fact that x, y, z equals 1, and, you know, we know the values of x and y, and so on and so forth, you're going to get something like 69 over 35. Uh-oh, this is not going to work. So, this is problematic. And you could also get that by multiplying these quantities. If you multiply for 7, 7 tenths, and 5 halves, you're going to notice that, well, actually, never mind. It is going to give you 1. That is going to work because that's where the equation came from. But if you plug it into the equations, then you're going to run into a problem. Because we know that x plus xy plus xyz is not equal to that. Because in the original problem, remember, that was given as an integer, right? So that is not a possible uh, answer. Therefore, uh, that's not a solution. So that is an extraneous solution. In other words... Uh, when we replace 
when you replace u with 1, uh, that is not going to give us a solution because it is just extraneous. So we have to take out u minus 1 from this, and when you do, you're going to get this exact same cubic equation. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.